everyone, good afternoon, and thanks so much for joining me in this live stream. I really do appreciate it. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me. But in this video, as you probably noticed by the title, I do want to talk about SSI, Supplemental Security Income. As I do know, a lot of you here in the community receive these ongoing monthly checks, and I do want to offer some clarification and talk about some changes that were announced out of Social Security just, like, uh, just last week for the SSI program and let you know what this actually means. I've been receiving a lot of questions about this over the last week or so, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to come back in this live stream here. We're going to talk about the details. I'm going to jump into the chat box in a little while here. I can answer your questions and things like that. But yes, this is a good change. Now, here's the thing. SSI, Supplemental Security Income, has not been reformed in decades, literally decades and decades and decades, okay? It's been a very long time. It's only undergone some very minor changes since it was uh, brought into play as an in inception of this program over 50 years ago. So any changes to SSI is a great, great thing out there. And again, I want to break this down for you because I've been receiving a lot of questions and realistically, it is a little bit confusing. Like, okay, sounds good, but uh, I don't really know how this applies and what does it mean for me and my monthly benefits? So yeah, good questions. We're going to talk about it here in this video. So uh, before we get into it really fast here, I just want to clarify really quickly as well. We're talking about SSI, okay? Supplemental Security Income. This does not necessarily pertain to retirement or SSDI or survivors or spousal benefits or VA or RRB. We're talking about SSI, okay? Now, here's the thing as well. I have tons of videos here on the channel, thousands, like 4,500 videos here on the channel, okay? I talk about all of these programs. A lot of the videos do pertain to all the beneficiaries. However, I do have multiple videos as well that are pertaining to just one type of benefit. In this case, it's SSI. I have plenty of videos here on the channel talking about retirement, plenty talking about SSDI, and a bunch of these other benefits as well, okay? So anyways, I want to make that very clear because, again, I just want to make sure that you know that because here's the thing. When it comes down to all these benefits, the rules are very different, okay? <laughs> you probably know that. The rules, the parameters of all these programs are very, very different. So one rule that's applied to SSI is very different than a rule applied to SSDI or retirement or something like that, okay? So again, we got to know which uh, benefits we're talking about here. All right. So really Really quickly here, let me buzz through the announcement that came out uh, last week out of Social Security. I'll let you know what that means. In fact, to be 100% fair, yes, I was out in a live stream last week as well as that information was hitting the wire and um, I was breaking it down for you then, letting you know what is actually going on with this and what it means for SSI. But again, I've been receiving so many questions about this it's only fair if I come back and uh, talk about the details again further about this because, yeah, as you notice from the title, uh, this could, again, I want to emphasize, could, it may, uh, it could, uh, you know, it, it possibly might, okay, however, however else I can say this, increase checks for beneficiaries, okay, it depends on the situation, everybody's situation is very different, which also makes it a little bit difficult to determine, like, exactly who, right, again, I don't know your exact situation, everybody's situation is very different, so it's really hard for me in a video like this, this to just generalize and be like, well, yeah, John's going to get a raise and Mary's going to, but oh, uh, sorry, Margaret's not. Again, I'm just making up names here. You know what I mean? Okay. So I can't really do that here in a type of video like this because everybody's situation is very different. And um, you'll see exactly what I mean by that here in just a second as I talk through the details. All right. So that being said, let me explain the details about this. So last week, Social Security Administration came out, which by the way, a uh, quick side note, the Social Security Administration, just in the last, I'm going to call it three weeks or so, has come out with multiple really good announcements, cha uh, changing Social Security, all kinds of different things, okay? This has been good. Just in the last, like, three weeks or so, we've received multiple announcements out of Social Security, and they've been good in favor of the beneficiary. I don't know. It's um, we're, we're on a good path here, okay? That's all I have to say about this, is this is good. Generally, we do not get things like this all that often, but the fact that they're coming out and they're making these necessary changes, I feel like we're probably on a good path here, okay? Things are changing, and um, that's good. That's very, very good. Generally, don't hear this. Okay, anyway, so last week, Social Security came out, and they announced that they are changing or they are dropping food out of the ISM. Now, let me uh, explain what that means. So ISM, as it pertains to SSI, again, Supplemental Security Income, stands for In-Kind Support and Maintenance, okay? Now, that doesn't really mean a whole lot to a whole lot of people. I get it, because you might think, okay, like, what is that? Yeah, I know what you mean, right? Okay, so this in-kind support and maintenance, it's just basically a way of saying, 
are you receiving any type of assistance, either food or shelter, okay? Remember, as an SSI beneficiary, if you receive any assistance, either food or shelter, that can and will be used against you, right? Have you ever heard that before, right? <laughs> Anything you say can and, will be, can and will be used against you, right? Well, here's the thing. When it comes down to uh, SSI, unfortunately, food assistance of any kind or shelter assistance, again, from friends, family members, acquaintances, strangers, whatever happens to be family members. Again, it could be any of these, okay? Any types of this type of assistance needs to be reported to them, and it can, it can be used against you and reduce your actual SSI check. I know, super weird, right? So like, if we were, say, related, right? We're, we're siblings or we're, you know, I don't know, we're related somehow and we lived together and you know one of us is an SSI beneficiary that could reduce um our benefit if we're getting assistance and actually you know like living with somebody without paying rent or something like that so rough situation right but anyway that's the reality of the program okay so anyway you probably know this but here's what they announced last week okay i think it was on i think it was maybe wednesday of last week it could have been tuesday i don't know if the exact day, if i'm right on with the exact day i could be off by a day but anyways about a week ago a little bit more than that and uh, i talked to the details then but they came out and they announced that they're dropping food from this ism okay so in other words they're no longer going to use food against a person i don't know to me that sounds really messed up like <laughs> why would they use that against somebody in the first place who cares if somebody's getting food assistance right if a family member or a friend or an acquaintance or a roommate or a stranger is helping somebody out receiving ssi with some food i don't know i guess in my opinion who cares leave them alone they want to eat right i don't know but again that's just my opinion who cares about my opinion but anyway they came out and said that they're gonna be dropping food out of this ism uh okay so the in-kind support and maintenance so as a result of that that just simply means that any food assistance that an ssi beneficiary may currently be getting or that may have been used to offset their ssi benefit checks is no longer going to count anymore, okay? So in theory, this could potentially boost checks for SSI beneficiaries who have this calculation taken out of their basically benefit amount, if that kind of makes sense, right? So let's just say that you're getting food assistance, right? And they say, okay, you're getting X dollars, X amount of food assistance from X person each and every month, and this is going to reduce your benefit check by X dollars, right? Okay, um, so anyway... Basically now, if, if that's not going to be in the calculation anymore, they're basically saying, okay, well, it doesn't really matter. You can get food assistance and uh, we're not going to hold that against you anymore. And now this could, in theory, uh, potentially boost checks for beneficiaries. And again, I, like I said, there's a ton of factors here depending on what is the reduction of somebody's benefit as a result of food assistance that they're receiving. Is somebody receiving a food assistance? There's a whole bunch of factors here. Again, why I can't exactly come back in this video and be like, well, you're exactly going to get a raise of X dollars because they're reducing this. I don't know. It's going to be different for everybody, right? Everybody's uh, benefit as amount is very different here, which is why it makes it so incredibly difficult to figure out exactly what that's going to be. But it could translate into higher benefits benefits for some beneficiaries who fall into this category. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Now, I want to throw this out there really quickly as well. They are keeping shelter in there, okay? So, uh, shelter is still part of this ISM. In other words, in-kind uh, support and maintenance. In other words, if you're still getting assistance from shelter, as in, you know, family members letting you live with them for free or, you know, whatever, a, a roommate or a friend or whatever happens to be the case, this can still offset benefit checks, okay? However, I just want to throw this out there. It has not been approved yet. The food aspect of it has been approved, okay? That one's a done deal. They changed that. That's the rule, okay? They changed it, and it is a done deal. They're doing it, okay? Um, by the way, that goes into effect September 30th, okay? So it's not even in effect yet, but in September uh, uh, September 30th is when that goes into effect. However, shelter, okay? I just want to throw this out there really quickly. I've seen rumors coming out that they may be dropping shelter as well, okay? It has not been approved yet. Just making that very clear. However, I've seen it popping up and some people suggesting we may also be removing shelter. Who knows? Let's cross our fingers. That'd be awesome as well. Because let's be real. As an SSI beneficiary, can you really live on your own receiving even the maximum of $9.43 a month and pay your rent, pay for your food, pay for your utilities and all the stuff like that? There's no way. I mean, seriously, there's just no possible way living on a small benefit like that 
to, to get by, right? So again, most, not every, but a lot of SSI beneficiaries are getting some type of shelter assistance from somebody because you, you can't live on 943 paying for all this stuff, uh, you know, with prices elevated as much as they are right now, right? Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna keep watching that closely as I get more information on the potentially the, the shelter aspect of it. Of course, I'll bring that to your attention right away. But as of right now, it's still just a, kind of a thought that's being thrown around out there. And who knows, we'll have to see what happens. But one more last thought here and then I'm going to move on and um, talk about some other stuff here, which is they've indicated in the press release, which by the way, in that live stream that we had, like I said, about a week, week and a half or so ago, I put the link in the description of that video to the press release from Social Security so you could read it all from yourself there and you could see exactly the words that Social Security was saying. But at the bottom of that, they alluded to stay tuned, more SSI changes or more SSI announcements to come. Now, I'm not sure what those are going to be, but they've alluded to potentially more coming. This is great news, right? Here's the thing. We know that SSI needs some major, major reform. And just like the other announcements came that came out of Social Security last week as well, they don't always need congressional approval for all of these changes. I know a lot of times it feels like, oh, they have to wait for lawmakers, right? In a lot of cases, yes. But in some cases, no, they actually have the authority to make some of these changes independently and they do not need to wait for lawmakers, okay? <laughs> so you know how that goes, right? If you wait for lawmakers, it's gonna be a snoozer uh, waiting for them to actually do something, right? It could be forever. I mean, literally, they could do nothing for a very long time and we just sit here and wait and wait and wait and wait like we've been doing for so many years. And again, quick side note, marriage penalty, that's still a really bad one. And yes, that is still in play. Not sure if they're going to remove that, but uh, that'd be massive for a lot of people and uh, that'd be really, really good, right? Oh, one of the quick side note I want to throw out there really quickly as well. As I was doing more research on this, um, this whole, the removal of the food, they said that it's only going to increase SSI spending by about 1%. Okay, so it's not even that much money. What, less than a billion dollars a year is what it would actually cost? That's nothing. I mean, when you look at it from the big uh, picture here, a billion dollars to the federal government is nothing, is nothing. They spend trillions of dollars a year. A billion dollars to them is like, I don't know, half of a penny to us, you know what I mean? It's like almost nothing, right? So anyway, just thought that was very interesting. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna jump into the chat box and I'll go through some of the comments there. If you have any questions, stick them down below. Obviously I can't answer personal questions here in this situation just because everybody's situation is so incredibly different, but I hope this explains it a little bit more. For those of you that have been asking down below in the comments section and you heard about these changes, yeah, this is there, okay? So um, yeah, I hope that kind of explains it. but you may be receiving communication from Social Security, okay? They did not indicate for sure that letters would be going out or anything like that, but just kind of be on the lookout here over the coming days, weeks, and months here. Just kind of be on the lookout here if you receive any letters from Social Security in regards to your monthly benefit. And if you're somebody that's currently receiving food assistance, they may reach out to you and be like, hey, um, you know, we're going to recalculate your benefit based on, you know, the dropping of food assistance from the ISM. And um, you may get something like that. Again, no promises. I don't know for sure if they're going to do that. I would anticipate if there's going to be an adjustment to your benefit, they would certainly send you out a letter. Okay. Just be on the lookout for that. If you don't get anything, don't worry about about it. Um, let's just continue to watch this. This is still very, you know, relatively new. Um, it's only about, I don't know, 10 days old or something since this uh, was announced. And again, I brought that information to you the day that it was announced, I don't know, a week and a half ago, or I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday of last week. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to jump into the chat box and see what's going on. If you have any questions, stuff like that. Other than that, um, I'm not going to sit in the chat box all that long. I just want to be respectful of your time. I don't want this uh, live stream to get too long here, but um, I want to at least get in there and talk about a few different things. All right, so let's do it. And again, as always, um, yeah, if you're joining me right now, just recognize, you know, I'm kind of slow working my way through this. So I appreciate your patience. Thank you. All right, so <sighs> let's see. Cookie M. Yeah, Cookie M says, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, Cookie M. Yeah, exactly. Cookie M says, we need help now. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, Patricia Kessmer, I think. Uh, yeah, we need help now. Yep. Uh, this person is saying Rays and uh, Bull S. Um, yeah, you, you clearly weren't listening. So um, yeah, anyway. Yeah. 
Uh, an Odyssey of Steven. Hey, Steven, I see you there. Hey, nice to see you. Actually, funny, uh, Corey and I were just talking about you a couple days ago. It's funny how that works, right? <laughs> the law of attraction works. Yeah, that's funny. Hey, Steven, nice to see you. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Latanya Smith. Hey, so nice to see you. It's been a while. She's been around for a long, long time. Yeah, um, so nice to see you. Thanks for watching. Nice to have you here. Yeah. Patricia Kessmer. Again, I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong. Hi. Oh, look at that. Deborah Chapman in the house again. <laughs> Thanks, Deborah. So nice to see you. She's so kind down in the comment section. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, what, Roxanne Torres is saying, what about SSI and SSDI? Uh, we're talking about SSI right here in this video, Roxanne. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew Hill here. Thanks, Matthew. Nice to see you as always. Uh, um, who's this? Anna Ortiz. Anna Ortiz, hello. Nice to have you here. Thanks for watching. Yeah, Brenda Turner. Thank you. I, Yeah, thank you so much for the nice message. I appreciate it. Yeah, we just want to do what we can to help you out. So, Brenda, thank you. No, okay. Okay, so Brian Carver is asking, you say help from anyone. What about food stamps? No, no, okay? Don't worry about that, okay? Here's the thing that's interesting about SSI. A lot of people don't realize this. As an SSI beneficiary, you're pretty much grandfathered in to assistance from a couple different things. Number one, Medicaid. If you're an SSI beneficiary, you are grandfathered in to get SSI, um, sorry, you're uh, grandfathered in to get Medicaid benefits, okay? Like enroll in Medicaid, okay? Um, also, at the same time, you're also basically grandfathered in to get SNAP benefits, okay? So yeah, there you go, okay? So if you're receiving SSI, you should be, number one, enrolled in uh, Medicaid, and you should also be getting snap benefits okay there's so many programs out there in fact the bulk of the programs that i talk about here on the channel as an ssi beneficiary you're pretty much already uh like i don't want to say approved that's a very like i don't want to say that but you're basically grandfathered in to get a ton of these benefits it says it on the eligibility of a lot of these programs out there if you receive medicaid ssi snap tanf wic WIC benefits by the way uh again the list goes on and on if you receive any of these benefits you know you're basically in to get the benefits from these other programs so yeah there you go okay uh by the way who is that brian carver yeah um, I'm not talking about um, food stamps here. I'm not referring to that. I'm talking food assistance like Brian. You and me live together and I give you food, okay? That's very different from food stamps, okay? That's the example that I want to give here. That's not what we're, um, that's that's not really applied here. It's food assistance from friends, family members, acquaintances, roommates, uh, strangers, <laughs> stuff like that, okay? That's what we're talking about here. Make sense? Yeah, Jacqueline Harrison, uh, hello. Thank you so much for being here. Nice to see you. Yeah, Tamika Davis, uh, checking by, stopping by. Thank you, Tamika. So nice to see you as always. She's always in the comment section. Thank you. Brenda Harrell says, I'll believe it when I see it. Well, you're seeing it right now. I'm not really sure what else there is to believe. Um, this was announced from Social Security about, about a week and a half ago, so... There you go. Okay, so I'm not really sure what else we need to see here, um, but yeah. Uh, Todd Kenny. Hello, Todd Kenny. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Yep. Linda Provencher, I think. I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong. Hello. Nice to see you, Linda. Um... Uh, Melissa W. I'm going to say Melissa W. I I apologize. I'm not sure how to say your last name. Okay, I, I apologize. But Melissa W., uh, thanks for the message. Thanks for being here. Nice to see you. Yeah, Joni. Joni P., again, not sure how to say your last name. But yeah, uh, happy weekend. Um, yeah, so thanks for being here. Nice to have you here. Angela Cole says, nothing coming, okay? I didn't say anything was coming. Never said that. So I guess I'm not really sure what you're talking about. But um, yeah, I guess I'm talking about some changes to SSI announced by Social Security. So 
yeah, um, I, I never said like something's coming. I never said like you're going to get something. Um, I'm talking about the changes that were announced. So yeah, I think that's why there's so much confusion here. I see so many comments down below on videos and saying, I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, checks are coming or are we getting a raise or BS or blah, it's lies. Dude, just listen to the videos. I mean, seriously, I, I don't know why this is so confusing. Um, I think where the confusion really comes in is people don't listen. I mean, seriously, it's not that hard. Just listen to the words that are being said. Um, I did not say anything about something coming. I did not say about a raise as in like, you're going to get a raise tomorrow. What I'm saying is they're removing food from the equation. And if you're getting food assistance, you may get an increase to your benefit because they're going to take that away. Therefore, it's not going to reduce your benefit check because of basically getting assistance. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, who's this? Uh, Camdis, I think. Camdis. Uh, hello. Sorry, I'm I'm saying your name wrong. I apologize. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, sorry, I'm really slow here. Sorry, everybody. I don't get how I do this. Sometimes I just like totally get out of the chat. I'm like, how did that even happen? Ah. It takes me forever to get back into it. Yeah, Latanya Smith, thank you. Yep. Yeah, thank you, Deborah. Deborah Chapman again. Thank you for being here. Nice to see you. Deborah Chapman's baking in the sun right now. <laughs> it's hot where you're located. That's awesome. Um, Kathy, Kathy Hatton, I think is your last name. You're saying, why is Medicare taking money from checks? Um, if you're talking about the Medicare Part B premium, that's what happens. Okay. It's automatically taken right out of your check every single month before you see a penny, they get their cut. Okay. <laughs> that's how it works. That's how it works. I'm not sure if you, this is what you're referring to, but yeah, it's the Medicare Part B premium, $174 and some change. Right. So, um, Yeah. Yeah, Fred Rom says, hope it's good news. Yeah, this is good news. Um, when it comes down to SSI and just following up to that announcement out of Social Security about a week and a half ago, where they're removing f uh, food out of the calculations for the ISM, in-kind support and maintenance, and basically they're not going to hold it against you anymore. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew here, here on the live stream. Yep, I see that, Matthew. Thanks for joining me. Purple Nita says, thanks for keeping us informed. Yeah, you're welcome, Purple Nita. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Roy Bidick, oh, sorry, Bidricky or something? I, sorry, I, I know I'm saying that totally wrong, sorry. <laughs> but Roy, I see your message. Thanks for the nice message. I appreciate it. Uh, it's nice to have you here. I apologize. I know for a fact I'm saying your name wrong, your last name, but Roy, I see you there. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, this person's saying blind leading the blind. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an insult, but um, yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, by the way, thanks for that. Yeah, blind leading the blind. That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah, Colleen. Yep, exactly. We need more money now. Carol Pitts. Hello. Thanks for being here, Carol. Uh, yeah. Carol Pitts is asking, are we even going to get an SSI check? Uh, yeah, there's nothing changed in there, Carol. So don't worry about that. Carol, if you're an SSI beneficiary, don't worry about it. I say this all the time. You probably hear other people out there, other, you know, people, you know, talking on this, who knows where, YouTube or wherever, saying, oh, your checks are ending, look out, stuff like that. No, they're not. Nothing is happening with your check. They're not ending. Social Security, all these benefits have been around for almost 90 years. There's nothing happening with these benefits. In other words, they're not going away. They're not ending. They're not being cut, anything like that anytime soon. If we, you know, if we fast forward, say, eight years, well, the conversation could be very different in eight years. But eight years is a very long time, okay? So right now, today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, nothing, okay? Please do not worry about it as far as anything bad happening, okay? Here's how I look at this whole thing, okay? We could look at all these benefit programs and think, oh my, they're going to do something bad. 
I only look at it as upside, okay? There is like nothing they could do bad to these programs. Okay, fine, I guess they could. It's not gonna happen. There's no way, okay? Like I had uh, out the other day in, in a live stream, there's these rumors that I was fact checking in that live stream that's saying like there was an executive order that's going to end social security. False, as I said that in the video the other day. It's not happening, it cannot be done, okay? So don't worry about that. So that's why I'm saying, in my opinion, there's only upside when it comes to these programs, okay? my point is the only changes they could really do to these programs would be good changes okay they're not going to come in and cut benefits or anything like that there's no way they would not have anywhere near the support in uh, between lawmakers to do something like that those would not happen but they could come in tomorrow and say we're going to raise benefits by 10 percent they could do that they're not going to but i'm just simply saying they could do that okay so that's what i'm saying when it comes down to these benefits there's basically only upside okay does that make sense so when you think about your benefits just think they can make multiple changes any changes they make they're going to be good changes okay they're the likelihood of them making any bad changes that do not serve the beneficiary is like none there's like zero likelihood of that happening the likelihood of them actually doing something that is good is there is a likelihood not saying it will or will not i don't know what they're going to do i'm just simply saying the likelihood and based on what we've been seeing on social security recently over the last couple weeks here it's all upside it's all good right does that kind of make sense so that's how i look at it Uh, Arkasha, I think I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Arkasha Robinson. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Again, so I apologize for the name there. Um, I know I said that wrong, but I see your message. Thank you. <laughs> right. Mickey D's. Mc McDonald's is going to 20 and we get a fraction of that. Yeah. Um, I see your message there, but yeah, it's crazy. Um, I've been seeing the different things that are happening in California right now with the new uh, minimum wage for fast food workers. Yeah. They're just like laying people off left and right. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming. I mean, <laughs> we all could have called that one a mile away. I mean, seriously, we knew that was going to happen, right? Yeah. Nancy Thibodeau from Louisiana. Yeah, hello, Nancy. Uh, Cassandra Colton, I think is the last name. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it, Cassandra. Uh, Renee, I think. Venerez, maybe? Renee Venerez, I think is the last name. Uh, thank you. Nice to have you here. I appreciate it. T dog. I see T dog. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, hey, T dog. Nice to have you here. Yeah, thanks, Fred. Fred Rom. Very nice message. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Yeah, Harold Kempster says, Take care, everyone. Thank you, Harold. I appreciate it. Uh, Jeanette Cleveland says, Support you. Thank you, Jeanette. That's very nice. Yeah, Friendly Neighborhood says, Happy Friday. Thanks, Friendly Neighborhood. Yeah, Roy, um, I see your message again there. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Deborah. I appreciate that. Deborah Chapman, thank you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Carol Pitts is basically saying it's not enough money. Totally agree. Yeah, it's hard. That's the problem with SSI. It's a program that is way, way, way out of date. Uh, date and the benefit checks for SSI beneficiaries are just way behind where they really should be, right? Remember, really quickly as well, the purpose of the SSI program when it was brought in like, what, 52 years ago, back in the early 70s, the whole purpose of this program was a couple different things. To lift people and to keep people out of poverty and so that people that were relying on SSI... We're no longer reliant on friends and family for financial assistance. That's literally the purpose of SSI and why they formed this program way back in the early 70s. Because they found that, hey, wait, um, we have this group of people here, you know, however many millions of people back then, you know, 52 years ago, um, 
they had this group of people and they're like, hey, uh, these individuals are reliant on friends and family for financial needs. Let's create a program that establishes a, you know, a, basically a financial floor for these individuals. We'll give them an, uh, you know, an ongoing monthly stipend for them and they don't have to be reliant on others. And that's the whole purpose, to keep them out of poverty. Well, guess what? The program is basically a poverty program now, okay? It's transitioned from an anti-poverty program to a poverty program. I've had dedicated videos here on the channel talking about that. That's the problem because these benefits have not kept up with the real cost of living over the last 52 years, and they've fallen behind by a whopping 33%. In fact, I just had a video about that. I don't know, maybe... Uh, three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago, something like that, I was talking about how SSI benefits right now would need to be increased by 33% just to be where they're supposed to be. That's massive. 33% increase is how much they would actually need to go up right now just to be at poverty. I mean, the poverty line is what I should say, right? It's crazy. Uh huh. Brenda Smith, thanks for the thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, Jeanette, uh, sorry, Jeanette, not catching your last name there, but she's asking, what's the difference between SSI and SSA? SSI, Supplemental Security Income. SSA is just the acronym for Social Security Administration. So, a uh, big difference, okay? Generally, SSA, I mean, technically, you could look at SSA and be like, well, that just pertains to the total, you know, the whole entire uh, Social Security Administration that encompasses all the benefits, right? Generally, when somebody says SSA, they're talking about retirement benefits, generally, because here's the thing. If somebody was talking about um, SSDI benefits, you know, disability benefits, they'd, they'd say uh, SSDI. If somebody was talking about SSI, they'd say SSI. When it comes down to retirement, most of the time they just say SSA. Okay, that's what it means. Yeah. Uh, Shaggy RC, I see your message. Thank you. Nice to have you here. It's nice to see you, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, Zelda, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, thanks for the nice message, Zelda. But yeah, just kind of reading some other messages there. Yeah. I'm seeing that some of you are maybe watching some videos from some other people here and getting some very misleading information. Yeah, again, I've said it before in other videos, I'm always going to bring you the honest, accurate, reliable, and transparent information every single day in these videos, even if it is something you don't wanna hear. To me, it's way more important to bring you the honest, accurate information versus getting approval. I mean, here's the thing. I would much rather have the reputation of somebody that brings you honest and accurate information versus somebody that just sits here and says, yeah, tomorrow, check your bank account, something's coming. No, it's not. Not happening, okay? Don't even look at your bank account tomorrow. There's no point. There's no point. You're just going to see the same thing you see today, okay? Same thing, okay? My point is, I always give that information, even though it may be a little bit unpopular, that's fine. At least I know me in my own mind, and I know in my heart that I'm telling you the truth, okay? That, to me, is most important. Even if some people hate me for it, whatever. At least I know for sure with me, I am telling you the truth, okay? That's what I always say. And again, I get crap down below in the comment section, people saying, ah, you suck, stuff like that. Well, fine. Okay. If that's what you think, then that's fine. But I'm sorry, but you know, <laughs> sitting there monitoring your bank account every single day because some person told you to watch it, um, you're going to be disappointed. And again, that's why I want to bring you the information. Even if somebody else says, you know, this is coming, something like that. I'm going to tell you, okay, well, here's the truth and here's what's actually happening. Does that kind of make sense? Oh, that's so nice. Matthew Hill says, Matt, please give Corey a hug. She deserves it. That's kind of you. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. I'll, uh, I'll let her know. She's very aware of you, by the way. She sees your comments on all the videos. She sees in the live stream. So yeah, Matthew Hill, um, she definitely knows about you. Yeah, Crystal Coachman. Thank you. Nice to see you. Deborah Chapman again. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, LaTanya Smith, uh, nice to have you here. Well, 
Whoa, Island Girl. Wow, I like it. I just can't even imagine what island you're on. Um, I'm not really sure. That's pretty cool. Either way, you're on an island. Uh, it's always fun to be on an island, right? That's cool. I'm guessing Hawaii. I'm just guessing. I don't know. I, you don't need to tell me your location. I'm just simply saying, I'm guessing Hawaii. Uh, that's cool. Uh, thanks for being here, Hawaii girl. Kay McDaniel says, I only got the first two stimulus checks from a couple years ago. So I'm assuming Kay McDaniel is talking about the $1,200 and the $600. If you never got the $1,400 check, you have another year to get it. And then after uh, May 15th of next year, 2025, if you don't claim it before then, it's gone. It's now the property of the treasury and you cannot get it anymore. So Kay McDaniel, you have a year to get it. You might want to claim it uh, before it is now the property of the treasury. Mm -hmm. uh, Mo3 wants a shout out. So, hey, Mo3, I see you. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, shout out, shout out, shout out. Acknowledge me. Yeah, so there you go, Mo3. I see ya. Thanks for watching. Um... Uh, William Hadner, I think that's your last name. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, but you're saying, is SSDI getting any help? Well, funny you should ask, right? So last week as well, we also got an announcement out of Social Security dedicated to SSDI as well. Okay, I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't say that. Okay, let me take that back for a second. It's not totally dedicated to SSDI, but it is a lot of it is dedicated to SSDI, okay? Not strictly, but it, a lot of it does pertain to SSDI beneficiaries, okay? However, this is kind of a situation that you don't really want to happen. It's basically uh, dedicated around the overpayments, okay? I made a live stream about that as well. Again, I think that was maybe, I don't know, maybe Wednesday of last week. Check out that video as well. Um, I don't remember the title of it, but it was... Um, a pretty big, big announcement. It was talking about something about like 10% uh, that was announced by Social Security. Again, you don't want to be overpaid by Social Security, but if you are, they have made some changes there and um, that's gone into effect already. So that's great. Yeah, Donna Price is saying people that are living on a fixed income should not be punished for uh, earning income. Totally agree, yeah. I'm going to say this much, okay? <laughs> Maybe people disagree with this, but in my opinion, that is the dumbest rule in the history of anything, okay? Somebody that's living on a fixed income and they're trying to make a little bit of money to make ends meet, to put some food on the table, to pay the rent, to pay the utilities, to pay the bills, to put the gas in the car, whatever it happens to be. They're living on a fixed income and they get punished for making a little bit of income over a certain threshold. Again, that is the dumbest thing in my opinion. If I were in control, if it were up to me, I'd say lift all of the income thresholds, lift all of the penalties, anything like that that pertains to fixed income benefits. In my opinion, I would say if you're eligible for an S, uh, you know, any type of fixed income benefit, earn as much as you want. Just go at it. Seriously, does not matter. Why should somebody be penalized for that? That's so dumb. Seriously, why would we do that? We should be incentivizing people. I mean, seriously, if it were up to me, this is what I would do. And again, don't quote me on this. I have not like thought about this, you know, you know, very much. I, I thought about it some, but if it were up to me, here's what I would do. I would say like, okay, remove all the penalties, no limit. You can earn as much as you want. And that also puts kind of some kind of incentive in there as well. Like, hey, if you're receiving this type of benefit, if you earn X dollars or more, we'll throw a little bonus in for you. If you make it up to this tier, hey, we'll throw another bonus in for you. You know what I mean? Incentivize people to go out and earn a little bit of extra income versus penalize. I don't know. To me, that would be very uh, motivating to me, right? I would want to go and do that. Who living on a fixed income benefit is going to be motivated motivated to go and earn a little bit extra income knowing that they're going to get in trouble if they earn a little bit over the limit as in potentially even losing their full check? Does that motivate anybody? No. But if you put a bounty on that and said, hey, if you earn X dollars a month, we're going to throw a little bonus in for you. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm going to work it and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it as much as I possibly can this month and I'm going to get me that bonus, right? Yeah, that's what I would do, okay? Incentivize versus penalize. That's what I would do. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Tim says seniors need representation. Yep, exactly. Yeah, exactly why I make the videos here on the channel. Again, advocating for the low income, fixed income, everybody that I talk about here on the channel. Again, it's um, got to stick together right now. Rough times. Um... 
Kamala Shiri, I think is your last name. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate the nice message. That's very kind of you. Thanks for watching. Um, Kathy is asking, when are we going to get an increase? Okay, so as I've been talking about here in this video, um, Kathy, so here's what they're doing. They're removing food from the calculations that may impact your SSI benefit. Again, I don't know your exact situation uh, when it comes down to it, but the food, um, food assistance that you may be receiving from friends, family, acquaintances, roommates, anybody like this, uh, could have been used against you and your SSI benefit, reducing your benefit. Um, in that case, they're removing food out of this, so this may potentially raise benefits for some beneficiaries. Again, Kathy, I have no idea what your situation is, so it's very difficult for me to say like, oh, for sure, you're going to get a raise or not. I don't know that because I don't know your situation. Everybody's situation is so, so different, but you know, this could result in uh, a raise for some beneficiaries who are getting food assistance when this new rule goes into effect here. By the way, September 30th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Deborah Chapman, I didn't see it, but that's okay. Yeah, but thank you, Deborah. <laughs> Deborah's laying into somebody. <laughs> I love it. Remember this as well. Okay, so I'm seeing some messages coming in saying, what about a raise in Nevada? What about a raise in Michigan? What about a raise in New York? Something like this, okay? Um, remember this much as well. SSI is a federal program. It is administered by the federal government. So anything federal, just remember, anything federal is all encompassing across the entire country, all states included, right? Uh, states, you know, things like this, okay? So anything federal is all encompassing. State by state, there's a difference, okay? Anytime we have a state by state rule, well, then it's only applied within the respective state. So if you're in New York, if there was a New York rule, it would only be applied in New York. If you're in Nevada, only New uh, Nevada, this one state rule would be applied. Does that kind of make sense? But federal government, anything federal is all encompassing across the entire country. State by state, obviously, with only the borders of that respective state. So, yeah. Yeah, Brian Burton. Hey, nice to see you here. Um, yeah, I see your messages on all the videos. Thank you. Great to have you here. Yeah, T Dog is saying, I lost money when I moved from New Jersey to Florida. You need that money. Yeah, for sure, right? Any loss of money to anybody living on a fixed income benefit is really rough. That's a bad situation. Uh, Scott Ashmore is saying hello. Hello, Scott. Thanks for having you here. Or thanks, thanks for being here. Nice to uh, have you here. Uh, Carl Meeks is saying good work. Uh, thanks, Carl. Really appreciate that. It's very nice of you. Uh, Ralph is saying hello. Ralph, sorry, I'm not catching your last name there, but thank you. Nice to see you here, Ralph. I appreciate it. Crystal C says, hey, hey, Crystal. Yeah, William says, thanks for all your help. Thanks, William. I appreciate it. Yeah, I just want to do what I can here. I know it's a tough time. I want to do what I can to keep everybody informed and to answer questions and just do what I can here. William Hadner, I think, uh, is the last name. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. William says, we owe you. No, you don't owe me anything, please. I, I, that's really kind of you. I really do appreciate that. But seriously, no, I, I I definitely do not want anything from anybody here. Okay, so I've had people offer all kinds of stuff. No, seriously, <laughs> I am not here in the receiving business. Okay, I do not want any, uh, I do not want anything. I've had people offer me money, all kinds of stuff. No, please, no. <laughs> I definitely do not want your money. Okay, um, but William, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. I just appreciate you watching the videos and hanging out here and being part of the community. So that means a lot to me. Thank you. Uh, Crystal Coachman is saying, what about the poverty line? Yeah, poverty line increases a little bit each and every year. Right now for this year, it's $15,060 for an individual, $20,440 for a household of two. So that's what it is. Household of three, four, five. Honestly, I don't know. I'd have to look it up again. Those are the numbers that I have memorized at the moment. Yeah. Um, Kathy is asking, can I get SSDI? I receive SSI and SSA. That's kind of not really how it works. Okay. So it's kind of interesting. So 
SSDI and SSI, it's kind of like a one-way street, okay? If you're receiving SSDI, you may be able to get SSI. If you're receiving SSI, you don't really get SSDI, okay? That's kind of how it works. It's kind of an interesting thing. It's a one-way street there. It's called concurrent claims. Yes, you can get two benefits simultaneously, um, but definitely not everybody, okay? Some people who have very low benefits can get um, Social Security Retirement and SSI or Social Security Disability, SSDI and SSI. But it's kind of like I said, that one-way street there, right? You can be receiving SSDI and possibly get SSI. If you're receiving SSI, you can't go and get SSDI. Does that make sense? I know. Sounds confusing. Like, what's the difference? There's actually a big difference. Yeah. Um, yeah, I see somebody here. Um, Kathy, you know, talking about um, uh, turning 62 and getting SSA, so, uh, Social Security Retirement Benefits. Yeah, at some point, if you're receiving SSI, you may be forced by Social Security to take Social Security Retirement Benefits. Maybe, okay? Again, kind of a big maybe. But yeah, if you have a work record and you do have Social Security Retirement Benefits available to you, um, if you're receiving SSI, you would be forced to take those. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Emily, the wanted one, is asking if you only receive SSI, will you get a raise? Totally depends on the situation. Emily, wanted one. <laughs> uh, totally depends on the situation. Like I said, at the beginning of this video, I'd highly recommend going back and watching the first, like, I don't know, 10 minutes or so of this video um, when I, you know, am done here. But um, it basically refers to the food that is being removed out of basically the calculations that may actually impact SSI benefits. Does that kind of make sense? So I'd just say watch the first 10 minutes or so of this video and it'll make a lot more sense to you there. Uh, who's this? Renan John, I think is the last, or Renan, I, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. You're saying, wow, live. Yeah, live right now. <laughs> yeah. Sugar Ray Leonard. Hello. Good afternoon. Nice to have you here. Yeah, Crystal Coachman, seeing that all over YouTube. Yep, agree. Yeah, Jeanette, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Baldwin Osco, I think is how you pronounce your last name. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, shoot, I, I tapped out of it. Sorry about that. I was going back to double check your name. But yeah, I believe you said uh, Baldwin Os... How did I say that? Osco, I think it was. I think you said you're from Ohio. Hey, thanks to you and your whole family. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, great to have you here. All right, so unfortunately, I tapped out of the chat. Um, I can get back into it, but I think we've been rolling on here for quite a while now. Let's wrap it up here. If you want me to come back in another live stream, I can certainly do that for you. I don't want to, you know, sit here forever. Um, this was not supposed to be this long, uh, but I always get carried away in the chat box. It's always fun chatting with everybody here, but let's leave it here for now. I'm going to put this video up. Okay, so obviously when I end the live stream here in like a minute, um, it's going to go live or the video will go up. But leave a comment on the video if you want and just let me know, hey, come back and talk about this again if you want me to come back and uh, clarify things more. But I would say watch the first like 10, 12-ish minutes of this video. I don't know how long I talked for, but watch the first little bit of this video. It should make a lot more sense for you for exactly what I'm talking about here and what this is referring to for SSI and the changes that were announced out of Social Security about a week and a half ago or so, give or take a day or two, okay? check that out. I can do what I can for you, but um, some good stuff here. And we'll have to continue watching to see what else happens and any other changes coming out of Social Security to income impact benefits for millions of beneficiaries. So it's good. We're on the right path here. Um, some changes coming in for Social Security and we'll have to see what happens. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to wrap this up here. Uh, happy Friday. Thanks uh, for joining me. Good afternoon. And yeah, if you haven't done so, by the way, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Totally free to do so. You hear me say that in all the videos. I know. Um, we just got to stick together right now. I'm serious. That's literally what it's all about is we got to stick together right now. The more people that we have here in this community, 
the more impact that we have, the more you know influence that we have, especially when I write these letters out to lawmakers and say, hey, yo, lawmakers, why don't you do something? You know what I mean? <laughs> Asking them to do something, right? It's been a while, by the way, a couple months since we've written one of those letters. It may be time yet again. So, all right, with that being said, I'm going to unplug the microphone. When I do that, uh, the phone starts talking into the phone. So we're going to hear some little uh, like chipmunk, uh, chipmunk voices. And um, that's just my phone talking. So anyway, we're going to end this right now. Again, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe down below somewhere if you haven't done so. Check out the other videos here on the channel. And uh, that's about it. So, all right, let's do this. So uh, let's see. Thanks for joining me again. Finish. Whoopsie daisy. All right, let's see this. All right, thank you, everybody. I'm sure I sure you hear it talking. All right, have a good day, and I'll catch you probably again later in another video. All right, I'll see you for now.